Hello, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Capricorn. Today, I'll be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming towards you this September 2022 in matters of the heart and in your love life. I'm also going to be channeling messages focusing on what the mental mindset needs to be in order to maximize these blessings that are coming in your direction. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader i want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers my new viewers and visitors alike for your love your support and your loyalty to our channel i greatly appreciate it please continue to like share and subscribe so that i can continue to bring you these channeled messages all right capricorn let's take a look here at the blessings that are coming in your direction in matters of the heart here for september 2022 in your love life i'm also going to take a look here and channel messages focusing on your mental mindset that you need to have in order to maximize these blessings all right first blessing that we have here coming in for you in September, matters of the heart, it says, don't back down, stand up for what you believe in right now, okay? So there may have been a decision here um, that you made, and in the month of September, the blessing is giving that's, that's going to be given to you or being sent your way is for you to even hold on firmer to your courage, your bravery, and your mindset of not backing down for whatever decisions that you may have made in regards to matters of the heart, okay? Um, and it says here, stand up for what is right and what you believe in. There may have been here a feeling in the past or recent past of something being unfair, unjust, or things not being reciprocal here, okay? So this could have been either a connection, a past connection, a past relationship or a situation having to do with matters of the heart where it's telling you here you don't need to back down in other words it's going to give you this sense of perseverance in the month of september let's take a look here at what other information is coming in for you what other blessings are coming in for capricorn here the month of september 2022 and uh okay here we go and what's coming in for you, the hermit, it says, I follow my own path. And you also have a beautiful lover's card having to do with commitment. This is beautiful. Now, lovers is two different messages that I'm getting here. Number one, one, yes, is about commitment. Okay. Um, so I want to talk about that in a minute, but what I want to focus on, which really, um, I'm being called here and the energy is bringing me back to this. Don't back down. There may be a choice that you made, um, a heartfelt choice, something that may have been a little bit difficult, but you know, the lovers is all about making choices as well. Okay. And choosing to not back down, choosing to continue to be brave, choosing to mean what you say and say what you mean is another added blessing here that's coming in your way in the month of September, okay? Now, the Hermit card, it says, I follow my own path. The uh, blessing that's coming in your direction is your ability to, uh, in a way, quiet the mind and really listen to these messages that are coming in from your higher self. There's this sense of higher consciousness here of lessons being learned in the past or recent past. There may be even here this feeling that I'm getting of kind of, uh, in a way, you know, aligning yourself to your own path and not backing down from, again, for whatever you may have decided whatever you may have said, whatever you may have done, because it's now about you taking uh, a more mature look at whatever situations this may be talking about for you specifically, Capricorn, in matters of the heart and love, okay? You're going to follow your own path, and that path is going to be a path of learning, uh, you know, having learned from past mistakes, being more mature about the choices that you're going to make. Um, in a way, hindsight 2020, right? Looking back at things and kind of saying to yourself, okay, this is perhaps a better approach now that I'm going to make or that I'm going to take here in my love life. Okay. Going forward. Now you have here the lovers and it says, I trust my knowing, which again, intuition, past lessons learned. Okay. I'm going to take my knowing and make a commitment. 
So for some of you, this is a self-commitment and that's the blessing that's coming in for you in the month of September. It's your own commitment to stay, to stick to your guns, to stand by what you said, what you meant and really move forward in a new direction. Okay. Because you want to have a healthy relationship. You want, you know, uh, you want this sense of stability in regards to a partner, right? Um, and I feel here in the month of September, the blessing that's coming in your way is you knowing that in order for you to make that commitment, that you really need to, uh, kind of hold your ground and be more, uh, you know, determined here on certain things that you kind of in a way cut away from. All right. Now the lovers here has the rose quartz and that is also about love in the heart chakra. So it says here, make a commitment. So some of you may find that a blessing is coming in your direction in regards to meeting someone that you may feel that this may be the person that is more ideally connected to your values. Okay. More ideally connected to, or, or more compatible to you. Okay. Maybe, uh, I feel here for some of you that maybe in the past or recent past, that wasn't the case in your past relationship. Okay. Um, I feel this blessing that's coming in your direction with the lovers, you're going to find that it's going to be easy to speak to this person. This person's going to feel it, uh, effortless to speak with you. Okay. There is this sense of communication being the key element and the key blessing here of getting to know someone. And through getting to know that person, there's going to be this sense of, Hmm, this person is intriguing. This is interesting. This may be someone that I am more compatible with. What other blessings are coming in your direction here in the month of September? You have influence. Now look at what influence, don't, don't look so much about what influence, the, the fact that it says influence, but look at what's happening here. There's, you know, someone speaking or someone saying and another one person, in another person listening communication. I feel this has a lot to do with communication coming towards you in the month of September. And that may be the blessing that is a gift. There's a sense here of self-realization as we were talking before about the hermit card. So there may be here a sense of you meeting someone and, uh, the gift of either a meeting someone that's more compatible or, um, this, you know, this, kind of blessing is the gift. Like the, the gift is the blessing, the blessing of meeting someone that is more compatible and easier to communicate with. Okay. Lovers, uh, is governed by Gemini. Uh, the lover's card is a Gemini card and Gemini is ruled by Mercury and Mercury has a lot to do with communication. Okay. So, uh, and thoughtful communication. So I feel here that there's a sense of listening to each other and in a way, um, kind of talking heart to heart conversations here. Okay. Let's take a look at this next deck. What else is coming up for you as a blessing? Releasing your ex. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. That's what I was channeling earlier. There's this sense of breaking free from something. And some of you, the blessing in the month of September is breaking or releasing your energy. This energetic cord, the memories that keep going back to this person, you thinking about this person, you talking about the breakup, okay? Or having the residual energy of this uh, connection or relationship that severed or that, you know, you guys broke up, right? Or went your separate ways. So I feel here, it says the time has come to clear your energy. And there's this sense of clearing here. You know why you need to clear that? Because there may be here the gift of your soulmate or your twin flame. Like I was saying before, compatibility. For some of you, pay attention. There may be a person coming in your direction that may feel as if they are a twin flame soulmate. That may be your blessing here or the blessing of compatibility, a compa a companion that is more compatible to you than in the past or recent past. Now let's take a look at the mindset that you need to have in order to maximize these beautiful blessings here. And all of these want to fall over here. I just caught that, save that for, okay, from splattering all over the table. Here we go. And we have, wow, this is amazing. Look at this. It says, I deserve to be treated with love and respect. And I said this earlier, there's this feeling here that 
there was something that was not equal. There was something here that you had to stand up for yourself. There was something here that you had to say, you know what? I have to think about me and I have to make the choices that best serve me in order to move on. And this month of September is going to give you the courage, the determination of not going back to whatever person, circumstance, circumstance, or situation you may have been involved with when, where the person was not treating you with love and respect. Okay. And I feel that in the month of September, your blessing will be that you will be surrounded by a new person or a person that, you know, you may have a history with, but there is the sense here of someone being more compatible for you in the month of September. But remember, this is the mindset you need to have in order to maximize these blessings. You deserve to be treated with love and respect. Thank you so much. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more messages. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.